Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you all how I decorated my kitchen and dining space for the holiday season. And if you missed my first decorate with me, I did my entire living room area. And the theme for that was just to bring the outdoors in by keeping things very rustic, organic, and cozy. And I also added pops of burgundy, which I just feel like is a very timeless and classic color. So we will be carrying that through the kitchen and dining room area today as well, just cause this is an open concept and I want things to flow together. And if you are familiar with my channel, you all know that we we keep things very reasonably priced around here, but still achieving that high-end designer look. So I'm excited to share it all with you today. And without further ado, let's get into the decorating. Okay, so first we're gonna start with our dining area and this is what it looked like after I took down all of my autumn decor. And as you can see, I like to keep my core pieces and textiles pretty neutral in color and style so that I can play with whatever color or style I want to when it comes to my seasonal decor. And the first place I wanted to start was this awkward little corner space that we have at the end of our dining bench. And I just popped this little vintage stool that I found at an antique store in Phoenix. And no joke, my best friend helped me bubble wrap it and I took it on the plane as my carry-on, so dedication but I wanted to add a larger planter on top and Hobby Lobby is a great place to find larger planters for reasonable prices in the winter time because I know some stores like Home Goods only carry them seasonally. So Lowe's and Home Depot are also great options as well, but I found this really pretty kind of rustic style one for $25 and just popped it on top. And then to go in the planter, I found this four foot tree for only $35 at Lowe's and I thought it looked very lifelike. So I brought it home and I just made it a bit more neutral by removing the red berries for a more natural and rustic look. And by the way, everything in this video that can be linked will be linked below in the description box. So then I added some Tupperware to add some height so the tree would be nice and elevated and pop the tree in the planter. And I loved how this instantly dressed up this empty corner and gives off that rustic woodsy vibe. So next I wanted to move on to the dining table setup and I already had this cheesecloth runner here from my fall tablescape and I just love being able to reuse things that you already own when changing up seasonal decor since that's something that really helps to cut down on costs and I love how affordable cheesecloth is and how much texture it adds while still giving off that casual organic look. So next I just layered in this textured rustic vase that I ordered on home goods and I wanted to make a pretty statement arrangement in here using some long flowy greenery so I used these real touch stems that I got at Kirkland's and this is just going to act as a focal anchor for this table. If I have a large amount of guests over I'll usually swap this out for a lower arrangement and put this on like a coffee table or something but as far as styling purposes go I like to have a large floral arrangement to anchor my table since I think that's very visually pleasing. So to layer in that burgundy accent I just use these stems that I found at Hobby Lobby and you don't need a bunch of stems to add color to an arrangement. If you have a full base layer of greenery you only need two or three stems to incorporate that fun pop of color. So that's what I did here just to establish the accent color for this tablescape. So next I wanted to layer in some garland and when it comes to winter decor, I'm really drawn to greenery with pine cones because of the rustic look that it gives off. So I snagged this pine cone garland last year at TJ Maxx, but I believe there is a similar one available right now on a floral. So I just used two of them and wrapped the end of the garland around the vase to help accent the centerpiece. So another thing I love incorporating into my decor are brass accents. And these vintage brass candlesticks that I found at the thrift store are another one of those affordable decor pieces that I reuse as the seasons change. So I just pop them on opposite sides of the garland for some balance. And then I put the slightly taller ones closer to the center. So the height would kind of flow downwards from the middle. And then to keep that accent color going, I found these really pretty twisted taper candles and pop them into the candle holders. And when I look for taper candles, I always gravitate towards textured or patterned ones, whether that's like a beeswax texture or the twists like these, I think it just adds another nice layer of visual interest. So next it was time to layer in the place settings and I just used these faux leather chargers that I got at Hobby Lobby back in October because I love the warmth that they add and the timelessness of the leather look. And then to go on top of those, I have these really pretty speckled stoneware ceramic plates from Target. And I use these for every single tablescape that I do because they go with everything. And I love the casual handmade look of the ceramic edge. And then to tie in that brass accent, I use this champagne flatware that's also from Target. And I think using a gold color for flatware is so beautiful during the holidays. It gives a nice festive pop. And then for glassware, I used this woven set that I already had. And I just love how these make everything feel very casual 
visual and light. And when creating a rustic earthy space, I always try to incorporate natural materials. So the woven seagrass on these really helps accentuate that organic vibe, which I love. They also pair really nicely with the salt and pepper shakers that I have. And I always just place these somewhere in the tablescape to have handy for whoever needs them. Now, when it comes to napkins, you all know I'm a big fan of the simple loose knot, but another festive thing that you can do instead of going out to buy expensive napkin rings is just go outside and grab a couple of greenery clippings. I just snipped a couple of pieces from my olive bush and then you'll need some string and I use this rustic jute cord from Walmart and this is also great to have on hand for wrapping presents as well. But I simply just took some string and tied a knot around the center of the napkin and then added a piece of greenery and tied the rest of the string in to a bow and you can totally get creative with this and add some handmade name tags or maybe a little message for your guests but i just love the simple rustic look of the greenery and you could also maybe use rosemary or an herb that could go with your meal so definitely a fun one to play with and personalize for your gathering so that's really all i did for the tablescape and i love how easy this was and how the table feels very festive it has a tiny pop of color but still just has a casual relaxed vibe to it which i love and this decor is really neutral and versatile too so it can carry me through the rest of winter even after the holidays are over which is really nice so now that the tablescape is established i wanted to add a festive holiday touch to the back of the dining chair so i just took this really pretty frayed ribbon that i found on amazon i used this in my last video and then i just tied these cute little mini hobby lobby wreaths to the back of the chairs and this is just such an affordable cheap and easy way to add a fun pop of color and festivity to a dining room now this year i have been watching my fair share of hallmark movies and something they almost always have in the homes are window garlands so i was inspired and started by string some of my jute cord around my curtain rod hardware and then I just tied in this garland from there using that string and this garland was really affordable I found it at Hobby Lobby for $30 and again I love the pine cones that it has in it so to dress it up I visited the scrap fabric section at my local Walmart because here you can get two yards of fabric for four dollars and if you wanted a specific fabric you could always just buy some by the yard but I was lucky enough to find this burgundy waffle fabric that matched my accent color perfectly so I used this technique last Last year for my banister garland but basically I made a little cut in the fabric so I had about a foot and a half of material and then I just ripped it down to the other side and I did this with two pieces so I had two identical strips and I'm just going to be making a giant bow with this so one strip is going to be our tail pieces and the other is going to be our bow loops and I just started by stringing the tail ends first and then I strung the second strip through and pulled until I had two giant loops and this just creates the illusion of a giant voluminous bow and I love how it frames this window and really ties in that burgundy accent. Get it? Because it's a bow. No? Okay. Anyway, we're moving on to this little drinkware station that we have in this corner, and I just wanted to spruce this up a bit. So I added this textured vase that I DIY'd in a previous video, and I like how the texture kind of played off of the one that I had on the dining table, and then I just added these faux greenery stems with pine cones that I found at Hobby Lobby. And then for a little accent piece, I found these LED amber glass accent trees in the dollar spot section at Target, so I popped it on there to complete my little group of three, because you all know I love to style things in groups of three with everything being a different height since that makes for a very visually pleasing arrangement. So for another decor piece to help tie in that brass accent, I found this rustic style bell at World Market and I love the little velvet tie on it, but I wanted to make it more cohesive with my space. So I decided to remove it. And once I took it off, I thought it looked a lot like the accent bell they sell at Ballard Designs for three times the price. So this was a nice affordable option, but again, I just took that frayed ribbon and made a nice little bow. And when you invest in some pretty accent, accent ribbon it's nice because you can use it in different ways all around your home to help tie in an accent color of your choice and it just helps to dress up your space a little bit so I have this woven pot holder that I always have hanging on my hardware and I just pop the bell on top of that for a festive layered look and that was really it for the dining room decor. So I decided it was time to move on over to the kitchen. And again, this was kind of our blank neutral slate that I was starting with after I took down all of my fall decor. So the first place I wanted to start was our kitchen island. And this is kind of the focal point of the kitchen. So I always like to have a little statement moment here with a large vase in a bowl. And this rustic vase is one of my favorites. And to put in it, I found these pine needle picks at Hobby Lobby for just a couple of dollars each. I thought that they looked super 
realistic and I loved the woodsy feel that they had to them. And that's a little tip when sourcing holiday greenery, look for picks instead of stems because they tend to be cheaper, but you can still use them in the same way. So next I wanted to carry that pop of burgundy throughout the kitchen area. So I just used two of these burgundy thistle stems that I had and I popped them in there. I love how wild and gathered this looks. Like I just went into the woods outside my house and just picked out what I could find. So for my bowl filler, I wanted to find something that matched that rustic theme and tied in the brass accents throughout my kitchen area. So I found this rustic bell garland at Kirkland's and I thought it would be perfect. I love the distressing on the bells to give them that found vintage look and you could totally take them off of the garland if you wanted, but I liked the extra texture that the jute rope added. So I always like to have a seasonal candle in this area and this is my new favorite candle. It's from Hobby Lobby. It smells amazing. It's super fragrant and it's only $10 since holiday is 50% off there. And I love that vintage glass detail that it has and you all know that quintessential pine foresty smell. That's exactly what this candle smells like and since buying it I went back to buy several more because I love it so much. So next I wanted to dress up our cabinet and countertop area a bit. So I got out this wreath that I bought from Walmart last year and then I just added the vintage bells and ribbon myself since they were both really cheap. So when I hang wreaths around my home I usually just use an S hook and hang them. I got these on Amazon and it just makes it super quick and easy. I love the pop of green this gives to my kitchen and how those bells help to tie in the brass accents I have going on. And if your space allows for it, I think hanging a wreath in a kitchen is such a simple and easy way to help transform it for the holidays. Next up, I wanted to fill my hanging basket with some holiday florals. And I always get questions on this hanging rod, but it's literally just a curtain rod that I found at Ikea. So to fill the basket, I popped in these stems from surprise Hobby Lobby. And then I also spotted these really cool bell picks there and popped two of them into the basket for that fun pop of brass and then I also wanted to tie in our burgundy accent so I used one more of those thistle stems to make this arrangement a bit more colorful and I just love the festive touch that this adds to our backsplash area the gathered look of the florals paired with the fun pop of brass is such a classy combo but still gives my cooktop area a punch of personality Next, I wanted to dress up my kitchen crock without having to change anything. So to get my money's worth out of that frayed ribbon, I just tied a bow with it around the crock. And this is so easy to do, but instantly adds a chic pop of that burgundy color to my countertop area. And now that we have a couple of touches of that accent color, the last thing I wanted to do was swap out my tabletop olive plant for a tabletop Christmas tree. And I got this guy last year at Target. I really liked the rustic look of the whitewashed pot that it came in. And that is pretty much it for the kitchen. I love how all of the greenery pieces help to give off that rustic woodsy look and how we incorporated pops of that burgundy color with simple budget finds that tie both rooms together. And I think this all ended up looking super super classy and casual while still giving off that festive holiday vibe. everyone that about wraps up this video i hope that you enjoyed seeing this little holiday decorate with me if you did please give this video a thumbs up it really does help to support my channel and if you're not subscribed make sure that you are because i have a lot more christmas decorating content coming so you don't want to miss any more of it and i just want to say thank you so much to all of you for watching this video and i will see you all in my next one bye